Hey guys, welcome to Saturday Sit Down with Lisa. This is Life with Lisa. Um, just to give you a little tidbit, we are heading to my son Kenny and his wife's house, Kaylee. Um, she made chili for dinner. I'm going to watch the McGregor fight. Um, I think it starts around 7 to midnight. Um, and maybe sneaking a little game I can tan. I don't know. There's but the fight's on. This is the only fight that's on? No, there's other fights oh, there's on other fights before on. the big one. So before, but, I mean, McGregor's the big one. Um, but can I just tell you, like, here's a little... Um, cute little conversation between my father and my husband. My parents went for their um, vaccinations today. Long story short, so my husband and my father was telling everybody how he was feeling, which is fine, other than a um, sore arm. So my husband asked my father, he goes, how's your bride? So my father replies back, sleeping, with the thumbs up, and he says, how is yours? So my husband replies back, Awake, unfortunately, with two thumbs down. I just thought that was funny. Between okay. that was cute. So anyway, guys, um, let me shut this light off because we're driving to my side. Oh, yes, I can't do that. Sorry, guys. But so I'll show you when we get to my son's house. What's going on there? But this is Saturday sit down. All right. Maybe I'll I'll film Ken for a little bit, and we could just do some um, a little chit chat about um, being a bed hog. I'm gonna have trouble because I got gloves on my one hand. I've got one hand free hand, so let's go. Guys, can I tell you a disagreement my husband and I are having? Let me put the light on. I mean, and this is so stupid. My son get this, said get there at seven. I always get to all my appointments, all my life early. I get to even this is dental not an appointment. appointments. I'm talking, please. I get to dental appointments, doctor's appointments, anywhere I have to go, somebody like an hour early. I'll sit there and wait. And not even so much wait in my car, I'll wait in the doctor's office. Because if they're early, they can take me early. You know what I'm saying? Just keeps the flow going for everybody else. Um, my mother, I don't know how we're going on to left field, is always late. And we joke, but it's not true. She'll be late, for God forbid, knock on wood, for her own funeral. Um, but, so now, and last time we went to my son's house, which was last Saturday, right? For a Catan game night. Um, what do you call it? Uh... I think they said get there at 6, was it? We got there around 5.30, quarter to 6, 20 to 6. We got there early. Think nothing of it. So we're arguing about getting there early. It's okay. I, I don't know what the big deal is. But you know what? I, I just want to discuss what's annoying um, when you sleep with someone who's a um, um, bed hog, a, 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 a blanket hog. They, you know what it annoys me is when he gets in the bed, if I'm curled up, say, on my left side because he sleeps on my right, depending which way the bed is facing because that will rotate. But anyway, so right now he's on my right side. So I'm on my left side and I have, because I, I don't like heavy blankets. I have an electric blanket. I like my feet out. But anyway, I, my hands have to be out a certain, and I, a certain way and I don't like everything coming up under my neck. I like to have my shoulder out a little You're bit. You're giving away your analness. So anyway, the bottom, like like this a little bit. So when he gets in the bed, he's so rude. I'm not even joking. He will, when he wants to get into bed and pull the covers up and turn, he'll face, say, the, the bathroom with a wall. When he turns, he pulls all the blankets off me, especially my sheet. And that's what I really just, I like something light like that. And that is annoying. So does your husband or does your wife do that to you? If so, I can sympathize. It's annoying. Um... But I will say this, I am a bed hog. I like to stay in the middle of the mattress, even a little bit more, like I can squeeze him out. I just like have a lot of room, you know, you just kick out, spread out, I like that. So that, I like to do. So that must annoy him as well. But all right guys, we'll, we'll be back. I, I, and another thing he does, which is annoying, he keeps score, literally, of how much overhang who has on what side of their bed. And God forbid I have like a half an inch a quarter of an inch, even an eighth of an inch more overhang. He complains about that. Whatever. Okay, guys, here's Ken. We're driving. He's at a red light. Let me sh shut the light off. That's right. I know. There you go. Yeah, but I don't know. They probably can't see us. No, it's you can see dark. here. I'll do this. There you go. Okay, well, you're, so you're pointing the camera at me. I know, because you said you wanted to say something about being a bed hog. You're the bed hog, not me. I think you did say you were. And it is annoying that she takes up, she, she she thinks that there's no middle boundary, that that middle boundary belongs to her. And it's not right. And I have to pull the, the things towards me because she has them all wrapped around her. That's why I have to pull them towards me. And then she bitches, complains about that. Sorry about the language. Then she complains about that. 
And when she said, I'm not complaining about an eighth of an inch, I'm talking about a whole two inches. <laughs> That's not true. More. That's because not true. I, the only thing I, I, I care about oh is that God. I don't like to have the blankets on the edge of the bed because then the air, the cold air comes in underneath and, and you can feel it. I like to be covered up on the edge so my feet and stuff don't get Do you cold. want your mother to tuck you into bed too at night too? Is that what you like? Like a little That's cocoon? That's it. So I'm not complaining about cocoon. anything. I'm, I'll be a normal person. I think every man, even man, man, woman, and child out there will agree with me. That's not true. First of all, I don't care about the blanket. I like my sheet, but when I have the sheet wrapped around me, you get into bed and you just so rudely, when you turn over, pull it with you off me. So, and, and, and there was something else you said, which was not true besides the overhang. Especially if it's an eighth of an inch, you keep scoring, you measure it. And you, he literally, guys, will walk over on my side of the bed and look. Oh my God. That's eyeballing. <laughs> That's not measuring. He will sit there and literally see he admits it. That's what he does. Okay. Because it's it's an, never an eighth of an inch. It's more like two, three inches. It's annoying. There was something else you lied about. What was it? I lied about anything. You, the first thing you... You, you lay in the middle of the bed or more. No. Oh, no. Who really is the bed hog? A ruffle. Well, the dog, yeah. She she, she's a very bad, bed hog. I mean, yes, yeah, she is. She just squeezes in, plops over, and then she takes her feet and starts kicking, kicking your... And then, literally, you're on the edge and she's in the middle. We'll come for you and... Uh, <laughs> and then you're getting all stiff because we can't move. So yeah, that's ruffles. But there was something else. I have to go back, but it, it doesn't matter. There was something She's else. A bad hog dog. There was something he lied about. And I can't, well, let me get this off you. Let's just show this for a minute. Oh, let's show me. Hold on. So there was something else he said, which was a lie. I, I can't think what it was. Um, I, I don't know, but just whatever it because is. Because there was it, nothing. No, there was. There was something. I just can't think. Because there's so many things to keep track of. It's not nice the to lie to your viewers. He exaggerates and, um, be, you know, embellishes. So. All right. And guess what? Ruffles is not with us. I know I, I said she always goes by wise, but not tonight because she can't get over to my son's. All right. Why? Probably, probably it all ends around 11.30. There they are. That's how fast Better than I, the police are. And I had work. And Ken and Ken. Not work. Are you up to your server tomorrow? I mean, yeah. whatever you do. Yeah, I'll be there. The last time you didn't make it because she went to the hospital. This is Kaylee's uh, um, Instapot or pressure cooker um, chili recipe. It's delicious. It's made with ground turkey. Really yummy. And I'll be um, stealing this recipe and making a video on this because it is really simple and easy. All right. And delicious. Bye. Okay. The McGregor fight's over. We left because it's almost 1 o'clock in the morning. And my son has to get up early for church tomorrow because he's serving. But what a good fight. It was... um. I think um, the underdog won. He was an American, so that was good. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. We're heading home. It is 19 degrees out. It is chilly. And um, that's it. So this wraps up my Saturday sit-down. Um, that's it, Saturday sit-down. All right, guys, stay healthy. Be, be good. Be well. And um, be safe. I'll talk to you guys Monday. Bye. Hey, I just wanted to say... Um, those who follow American Eagles, um, the Southwest Florida Eagle Cam Harry, where Harry and Ozzy was, but it's Harry and M15. Um, they had a, their little eaglets tonight, E17 and E8. And, e and then I just wanted to say, you know what? I had a really good time with my son and my daughter, my daughter-in-law tonight. Like I said, we had the chili, which was delicious. And I will post that recipe. Um, but we watched that, um, fight with McGregor and I'm surprised to see he lost. I was happy he lost, but woohoo. It was good. All right. So this is really it now. All right, guys. Goodbye. See you Monday. Stay safe and be healthy.